Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to do a review of Internet Explorer 8 Release Candidate 1 and Firefox 3.1 Beta. I went ahead and did the Windows update so I could get the latest browser here from uh, Microsoft. Went to try it out in Windows Ultimate 64-bit that I've got here. And uh, basically the Windows update did everything for me. I didn't have to choose or didn't have any option to customize my installation. Um, Firefox, you go to the website, of course, which uh, I will uh, mention at the end of the video, and I downloaded the latest beta. In this case, it's beta 2, um, and I went through the setup wizard, and I just followed the screens to uh, either use the standard install or customize the install, you know, and choose where you want to install it and so forth. So uh, the ability to um, control the way it installs is still the same as uh, it has been in previous types of installations of Firefox. That hasn't really changed. Now, uh, one of the things that I look for is not so much how you install it, uh, but how it behaves. Of course, once you launch the browsers, can you still go to your web pages? Does everything still work, right? So here are the two icons. I've got Firefox that I'm going to launch on the left, and Internet Explorer is going to launch on the right. Okay, so let's have them side by side so we can check here. So Internet Explorer loads fast, fast browser, gets to my web page nice and quick. So does Firefox. They're both quick. Okay, there's no ifs or buts about that. They're both quick. Now, I'll type in the URL of my website manually here on Firefox because it's not cached. And on this beta, you can see that it's going to load my page really fast. Okay, so there's no doubt that there's a lot of improvements. Look at the menus, how fast they load here in Firefox. But then when I go to Internet Explorer 8, they're not. There's JavaScript compatibility problems with IE8 still that it's not recognizing my menus. So I shouldn't have to change my website to work with IE8. IE8 should work with my website, right? Just like IE7, Opera, Safari, all of those other browsers, I've tested them on my website. They work fine. Now, when I launch a YouTube video here, they both work fine. Okay, so there's no issues with uh, these pop-ups, but there were issues with transparency, the see-through transparency that you might get on some web pages, like on the YouTube channel. Um, that doesn't work very well with IE8, but works fine in Firefox. So still some issues there with IE. Now, when it comes to browser features, of course, Firefox is the king still. When I went to add uh, Firefox add-ons, there were plenty of them still compatible with the brand new beta release. When I went to Microsoft to get their most popular add-ons, I wasn't very thrilled with what they had available. I searched, I went through it. I mean, these popular add-ons that they had here are, are not that uh, interesting, to be honest. So I wasn't that thrilled, but they do exist, okay? And it depends on your taste. Maybe you like these. Now then, the other thing that I went to compare was, okay, security, pop-up blockers, things like that. That's still the same, more or less. Uh, they both have that, right? They both have a pop-up blocker setting option that you can access and filter what you want to block, what you don't want to block. So that's still there when it comes to that. Clearing the cache, clearing your history, uh, the cookies, all of that information, that is there, right? So the privacy uh, options and settings exist in both, okay? A little bit different, the screens, the way it looks and the way it's presented, of course, but they both, at the end of the day, give you the options that you need. Now, there's one feature that I like in the new browsers, which is the private surfing mode right you have the the private browsing they both have it right so private browsing in firefox and in private browsing in um, in in uh, internet explorer 8 right so the way you turn it on and off and toggle is a little bit different between both of them but at the end of the day they both have the ability to anonymously kind of uh navigate through your websites right without the information being stored on your pc now when it comes to memory usage though um, I have one tab open on both browsers and you can see here 40 megs for IE and 60 megs being used for Firefox for one tab. But if I open up three tabs on each browser, I've got 86 megs being used by Firefox and 110, 120 uh, total for each Internet Explorer instance that it's opened. It's opened up three separate tabs as you can see, three separate instances of itself. So whether you like Internet Explorer, Firefox, Beta, here are the URLs to go ahead and download it. Still, I like Firefox Beta much better than IE. Obviously, it needs some work. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you for watching.